Yep, pigtails means it's ironing day. The art of ironing, or perhaps I should say the art of removing wrinkles from a surface, making it smooth so you can turn around and create a place for more wrinkles. So then in turn, you can repeat the process over and over and over again. Now in this day and age where we have wash and wear, permanent press, um, moisture wicking fabrics, why would we ever iron? In my case, it's because my mother made me. And now I know that sounds crazy. I'm not 10. By looking at me, you can tell that. I'm 59. And in 1957, I was born to a woman who was a product of her time. She was the equivalent of um, the June Cleaver from Leave It to Beaver, the sitcom. Except my mom never walked around in a dress all the time or wore um, a string of pearls. Other than that, she was pretty much so a carbon copy. At the age of nine, I was introduced to the art of ironing via pillowcases. Now, at nine, you don't question it. Add 50 years, fast forward, and I'm going, why did I iron the sack that our families, um, the family put their pillows in? Didn't question it then. I do question it now, but I still don't have an answer for it. But as I said, my mother was a product of her time. Um, she baked, she cooked, she cleaned, she mended, she soaked. And she ironed. And she repeated the process over and over again. As I said, my mother was a product of her time. And my mother was what she did. And what she did was be a good mother, good wife, good homemaker. Those defined her. Now, if we fast forward... Women have burned their bras and put them back on again, and it's 2016. And here I am, still ironing. Now, I have turned in my baking pans. Um, I now favor, you know, baked goods from the grocery store or the bakery. I have thrown away my frying pan and do takeout. But I have not managed to get rid of this. Though I don't do pillowcases anymore. I have evolved that way. What's my problem? Is that my mother is up here. A little piece of her is ingrained in that part of my brain, wrapped around my cortex, that says, you know, the collar would look much nicer and lay smoother if you just pressed it. And there's that little voice that says, as I walk out the door, you're really going to walk out the door looking that way, what will people think? So what do I do? You turn around and you double check to make sure you're wrinkle free. My mother, bless her heart, wonderful woman and taught me many, many things. I think her knuckles probably bled because she bleached my um, shoelaces, because you didn't replace them like we do now. She bleached my shoelaces. She polished my shoes. She had barrettes in my hair at all times. And my clothes were pressed. So, where does this leave me? It leaves me in 2016. 
a 59-year-old woman who has managed to carve out her niche. I'm my own person. I'm not defined by the generations of the past, but I am still under the influence of this gadget, this thing that says, we must iron and we must iron some more before I die I am going to kick this habit I really am or I'll die trying